Okay, now we're going to cover beginning to put the trough liner in. Where you start is you cut a piece of trough liner that's three feet longer than your trough. If you have a 32 foot trough, don't make the mistake and cut the trough liner 32 feet long because then you won't have enough to go up the end of the trough and over the top. What we've done is allow the trough length, 32 feet here, plus another three feet so that we have a total of 18 inches excess at each end. We've laid the liner out, so there's 18 inches hanging over on that end and 18 inches hanging over on that end. And I'm right in the exact middle of the trough. And I'm just going to pick this edge up and put it even with the outside edge of the two by four and put eight staples. I'm going to go to one end of the trough. I'm going to grab the liner by the edge. And again, I'm going to make the edge of the liner even with the edge of the two by four here. And at that one point where it's even, I'm going to put in a couple of staples. I'll bend it back like this, so it's even with the edge. Right along here, I'll put in a couple more staples, three more staples. Now, I'll go right in the middle. I've got it stapled down there. I've got it stapled down there. I go right in between the two. I take this edge, I move it in so it's even with the edge of the 2x4, put one staple. I go in the middle between that staple and the next one over, push it into the edge, one staple. In the middle between this staple and these, push it in, one staple. Now pretty soon here, it's straight with the edge. I'll put a staple in, check, make sure it's straight with the edge, about every eight inches or so. Do not start on a big, long section like this, stapling bam, 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 down it. You always go to the middle. Go to the middle, put a staple. Middle, put a staple. Middle, align the edge, put a staple. Then you can put a couple in between like this. If you start stapling from one end or the other end, you're going to staple a wrinkle in. Middle, staple. Middle, line it up, staple. Middle, line it up, staple. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're going to duplicate the same process here with the second half of this first side. Even it with the edge, staple in. Even it with the edge, put two or three more. I'm going to go to the middle. Even it with the edge. Put a staple. Go to the middle between that and this. Even with the edge, put a staple. Now I'm going to shut up and just staple so you guys can see how fast and easy this should be. done with the whole second half. Okay, now we've gotten our first liner side fastened down to that side of the trough. We're going to fasten this side of the liner to this side of the trough. So Jason, if you can help me, we're just going to pull the liner over a little bit. Go get that in. We're just going to pull the liner over a little bit like this. Trying to get the big wrinkles out of it just like that. We just want it 
sitting in the trough in the center. No, I'm directly across from the staples I put in on the middle. On the other side, I'm in the middle of the trough this way. And I'm going to pull this up like this. Now, how do I know where to staple it in? I'm going to show you something. See this? OK. See that wrinkle I just pulled in? This is wrong. I'm going to pull a wrinkle in from the other direction. Okay. If it looks like this, don't staple it down. How it's going to look, could you, could you help with that, Jason? It's going to look like this. This middle section, for about six or eight feet, is going to be completely smooth and without wrinkles. Usually, where it just naturally falls and lines. But that's how you check it. If you see a wrinkle going out from this either direction, don't staple it down. See if you can pull the wrinkle out. When you get it looking as good and flat as you can possibly get it, we're going to do exactly the same thing we did on the first side. We're going to put eight staples in. Thank you, Larry. Right in the middle. Now, we do the same thing we did on that side. We go to the end. Don't worry about wrinkles out here. We simply pull it tight the same way we did on the first side. Staple it right at the edge. Like that. And again, just like we did on the first side, we go to the middle. There's staples there, there's staples there. We go right in the middle between the two. We push this edge so that it's even with the edge of the two by four. We put a staple. We go in the middle of that staple and then push the edge so it's even with the edge of the two by four. Staple. Staple. Middle. In the middle between each one of these. Staple. And then when you've got it stapled like this, throw a staple in about every eight inches or so. Again, I've got a section here, unsupported, middle, even with the edge, one like that, that, and staple, staple, staple. Big long section here that's unsupported, middle, make the edge with the edge, staple, middle between there and there. Like that. Middle. Now we're going to do exactly the same process with the other half of this. So we're going to cut the tape here. Just know you have to do the same with the other side. And Larry, if you could just pan down there and look at that. And we're going to do the same thing. Now, we're going to show you how to start. We're going to do the other side of this side. Larry pointed out something really important. You pull on the edge. See how I've got this holding this by the edge? I'm pulling the edge here. If I pull here, or if I grab here and pull out here in the middle and staple the edge, the edge is going to be loose, and I'm going to have wrinkles all along that edge. This will be all messed up. So I'm grabbing the edge and pulling the edge. And it's important every single time you pull one of the edges to put about the same amount of tension on it. Don't do this on one of them, and then do this on the next one. You're going to have all kinds of wrinkles in your trough liner. Now, the wrinkles don't matter. They, they don't affect the functionality of the trough a bit. You should have seen my first trough liners. They look horrible. They're four years old. They still haven't leaked. So, staple, easy with the edge. Put four staples in. We're going to do the exact same process we did with the Go to the middle, match the edge, staple, go to the middle. Jason, you can go ahead and do that part. Middle, match the edge, staple, middle, middle, match the edge. Our goal is to get 
the edge of the liner lined up with the edge of the 2x4 all along the trough. That's what we're after. Without stapling your fingers. <laughs> stapling your fingers loses you points. No points for finger stapling. It's also very difficult to staple with a staple once it's out of staple. Yeah. There we go. We're jammed. Okay. Okay, now we're going to show you how to fold and attach a trough end. Now, just, just take a look at this. It's kind of, it's a confusing mess. We've got all this big fold up in the middle. Well, watch this. First thing you take is a small knife and you go from the corner of the wood here I just cut that right to the corner of the wood, like that. Okay? So I'm right at the corner where it starts to go down in the top. Same thing over here. Don't worry about this. You have to make this cut or you can't do the next part. And I've got my stapler ready to go. Now, pick this up, push it down in the trough. And I'll put a hand on each side. Now, look how nice and smooth the trough liner looks inside here. Okay? Now, watch what happens when I do this. Okay? I've got wrinkles now, and this side is up higher than this side. I'll do the same thing in the other direction. I'm making it wrong right now, okay? This is way up like this, and I've got a big wrinkle here now. So what I'm going for is right in the middle. You have about the same curve on, and the same space on each side. You get it like that, and then you pin this down with your hand. And this is the one place you push the liner right into the corner, okay? The liner goes right into this corner, sharp and square into the corner, from there to there. See where my two fingertips are? Now, I'm going to smooth that liner down, bend it right over the top like that, staple it there. Right there, right there, right there. Just like that. Okay, now that we've got our center part tacked down, another couple of staples there, we got our center part tacked down from here to here. It's got a nice square corner at the bottom here. Now, I want to warn you about putting tools inside your trough liner. You drop something sharp or something pointy in there or do anything except lay it down real carefully like that, you may end up with a hole in your trough liner and leak. So be real careful of tools and sharp rocks in your shoes, stuff like that, anytime you're working around trough line. Now we're going to show you how easy it is to get these corners right. Put one hand in here like this. You're, you're making a hand like that. Another hand out here. And you fold this just like a Christmas present. Put it right down, make a corner right down there. Put one hand in here, one hand like this. What I'm doing with my hands is like this. I'm folding this just like folding a corner on a Christmas present. See how that goes in nice down the corner? I'm going to take that apart and do it again now so you can see how easy it is. Okay? There. Doesn't that look like a mess? It's a mess. Do the same thing with my hands. I'm just going to go like this to the corner. Like that. Tuck it into the corner. Tucking it into the corner. And I'll end up with a nice, crisp fold like that. The point of the fold goes right down in the corner. Push it down. Make this all nice and flat. And staple them like that. Now you see 
why we cut that corner, this never ever would have been around that corner. That's why we cut this with a knife right into the corner. Now I'm going to go over and fold the corner on the other side, and I'll shut up while I'm doing it. Now you can trim this right now or you can wait until you have your nailer strip on top. Right now, you want a knife with a nice long blade, you put it right next to the 2x4 and you just go across with a knife guided by the 2x4 on the edge. And you just trim off liner on your trough end. There's your finished trough end. I've got a staple pulling up here, so I'll tack that back down. Throw another staple there. Voila, you're finished.